For our Aqua Hotels in Auckland, it's really important that our staff are well trained for Rugby World Cup. They understand the needs of all our guests and the supporters of the games. Those folks sort of travel from a long distance and a lot of them will have English as, well, English will not be their first language. So we need to ensure that the staff know when the games are on, what time of day they're on, so they can really help our guests enjoy the tournament. I think it's important for all staff to be incentivised during Rugby World Cup to ensure that they stay with the, their employer and uh, service all their guests without changing employer just prior to the games, which would cause a lot of confusion. Supply chain needs to be well organised. You have to have a relationship with the supply chain and in some cases be well organised in advance with storage rooms and extra coolers. Sustainability is really important and in our own case it's, we have a 64 point charter which we will adhere to, but for all of New Zealand and Auckland, sustainability is on the back of our 100% pure marketing and we must adhere to that because these guests will be expecting a very sustainable and green country. When we have an event such as Rugby World Cup, we attract people and they experience uh, a tournament that is really exciting and I think they go home as strong ambassadors for us more than they would as if they were a regular tourist to the country because of the highs of such a tournament. It's important that staff and hotels are well trained and are aware of all the websites that surround this tournament and can direct all of our guests to those sites with lots of information. In addition, there is event transport which is complimentary and again staff and hotels need to know this is available to guests staying in the hotels. And finally, fan zones have been set up by Auckland City Council and they are an important part of the tournament for those folks that aren't going to Eden Park and can enjoy the fan zones across Auckland. For all businesses in Auckland, I think, to assist the, the tournament become fabulous for Auckland, they should become involved in merchandising of their businesses with Rugby World Cup material and that can be found on the Rugby World Cup site to assist with that. But in doing so, they must remember the Major Events Management Act, which avoids ambushing of the major brands supporting Rugby World Cup. And finally, we must know that all of us are in the business of tourism and supporting and hosting Rugby World Cup. And it's whether you're a taxi driver walk, working at Auckland International Airport or a pharmacy in downtown Auckland, it's our business to make this a fabulous event.